Hey Air Signs, it's Sunny, and this is your weekly insight for the week of January 12th, 2015. So, as always, I'm going to start out with my crisis, and my cards are flipped, and I will unflip them as we go along the week. I just woke up, so if I seem out of it, that's why. But yeah, beginning of the week for crisis. So, for starters, you guys are really focused on your finances and you want to provide and feel comfortable and confident with your finances. So, yeah, you are pretty much worried about that. So, let's see. Midweek. You guys are being vulnerable to change. You guys are understanding that there are some things that you need to change when it comes to your finances. So, you guys may find better ways to... um really change up some things but overall just in general you guys you want some changes and you are understanding that in order to get changes you have to be willing to be open and be vulnerable towards change so the big word for this week is vulnerable and change so that's kind of cool alrighty so um beginning of the week transformation towards midweek you guys are understanding that if you want your new slate, you're going to have to get rid of the old, out with the old, in with the new. So that ties in. End of the week for you guys. You're willing to work hard, but you may be in your head a little bit too much. I remember the Capricorns got this for the end of the week as well, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, you guys may be a little bit too much in your head, but you, you want to work hard and more than likely you will receive your rewards from your hard work towards the end of the week. So that's kind of cool. Um, transformation from midweek to the end of the week. You guys want to celebrate, but I keep picking up that you guys need to be careful when it comes to your friends. Uh, yeah, please be careful with your friends. This it, this keep this is an ongoing thing. Um, be careful of gossip. Be careful of what your friends will say because a lot of what they are going to tell you will really cause you to be in your brain too much, and it's going to cause you to overthink some things. So please be careful and find out who your real friends are. Please do that. So it makes sense. Um beginning of the week you guys are really really focused that's my son you guys are really really focused on your um finances and you want to provide towards yourself but i feel like you want to provide for others and you want to um pretty much be the sole supporter of yourself and if you have to help people out because you guys are so helpful you guys will do that um but you guys are understanding that you have if you want change you have to get it you have to go for it you have to make room for it so midweek you guys are doing that and you will be very open towards it but i'm feeling like you guys may be kind of stubborn with this so please be open if you want some new things if you want your new beginning and endings to the bad stuff be willing to let things die um, towards the end of the week, please be careful around your friends. Be careful that you aren't gossiping because a lot of things of what your friends will tell you will make you overthink and be in your head for too much. So please be careful about that. Please, especially if it's like another person involved. Yeah, I'm seeing links. Um, if there's a relationship and you, you guys um, have some second thoughts about that, your friends may be putting um, information in your head. Please be careful about that. Um, your overall mindset for this week. And decisiveness. Really similar to the Capricorns. You guys are undecisive. You really aren't sure of what it is you need to do. You don't know what path to take. Honestly, you do. But you just, you're being stubborn. Understand you have to change. You have to make room for change. And stop listening to your friends. Because some of your friends are, they're doing too much. And you have to really have the say so of your overall self. Stop relying on what people tell you. Go off your own judgment for this week and just in general, all right? So, yeah. Um, but let's see what's in store for the Geminis for this week. All right, Geminis. So, let's see what's in store for you. All right, now I'm fully up. Beginning of the week for Geminis. Ooh, you guys will be in an adventurous mood. You want to see what the world has to offer. Um, but I feel like this is more of a self-growth type of deal. Yeah, so you guys will be willing to, you know, learn more about yourself. Alrighty. So, midweek. This kind of ties in with the awkward lover for you guys. Um, you guys want a fairy tale ending to 
a certain relationship or with a potential lover but this person is kind of detaching himself emotionally like there may be some love there but he's really being distant whoever this is they may be really distant towards their feelings and it's causing you to be like um what are you doing what's going on like one minute you're into me then the next you just went you know left be careful with this please do but i mean like some of you Gemini's will have a relationship where your partner is very into you emotionally but majority of you will just have someone who is like really detaching yourself emotionally so please be careful about that be careful of that you aren't also being too naive with this level yeah please be careful about that all right alrighty so transformation from beginning of the week to midweek you're feeling like you're out in the cold you you want to feel like you have a reason to belong or you know be stable and continue to have your adventurous feelings towards something or someone but you is it's not really working out but um also if you're having some trouble with your finances understand that help is on the way you're just going to have to really focus on your finances because i'm feeling like you guys are just too emotionally involved with some stuff that needs to be closed all right so uh in the week for you guys you guys are starting to feel more optimistic and you guys are you know wanting to really praise yourself and just really feel good about yourself you guys are tired of just pretty much being drained emotionally so um end of the week transformation for you guys oh you guys are feeling hopeful and you will receive some good news um only towards yourself yeah you will receive some good news when it comes to like your self growth your self happiness so beginning of the week you guys are feeling adventurous and you want to explore many things um your finances may be kind of tricky for you guys but i'm feeling like you guys will still be happy no matter what there may be a relationship that you may be too naive in please be careful with this especially if this person is um not really supportive emotionally please be careful with that however if you do have a relationship with someone and he's emotionally involved um really plan and continue to beautify the relationship and really continue this emotional bond with this person but if there's no emotional attachment please be careful um you guys will receive some good news towards yourself maybe you guys are understanding that you may need to let this person go or you know any good news that you guys have been wanting to hear, you may hear that towards the end of the week. But you guys are feeling optimistic and you are willing to support yourself and love yourself. Because if no one else is going to love you, you better love yourself, girl. So, uh, your overall mindset for this week, you want stability. You want to feel stable with um, finances as well. So, this is a very, like, really wanting to have a place within either your finances or within love for this week um you guys will get that but honestly it all starts within you you have to feel stable within yourself in order to find stability within others so keep that in mind alrighty so yeah let's see what's in store for my libras for this week all right libras so let's see what's in store for you beginning of the week You guys will be very nurturing and protective of either yourself or something else. But let me see what my other cards are telling me before I really go into detail about that card. Alright, so midweek for you guys. Just in case. Just in case. Very similar to, um, oh my god, Gemini's. You guys are afraid. Oh my gosh, how can I really explain this? This this week is going to be a self like soul searching week for you guys and you guys are afraid that you're losing um your purpose. Like purpose is not really a good word, but you you're afraid that you're losing yourself throughout this journey and you guys don't want to do that. But honestly, you're not. It's just the point where, you know, things aren't really working out for you and, you know, things that you expected to happen aren't really happening. And you guys are afraid, like, am I on the right track? Like, what am I doing? Um, help is on the way. It is. Just really, you guys really need to be happy 
find the innocence and good blessings within everything, even within every disaster. Understand that help is on the way. Realize that life is just a test. Each test is difficult. Each test, there's different questions. So be willing to pass your life's test. Because I feel like you guys are giving up. And you're just like, kind of over it. But please don't. So that makes sense of the creating. And wanting to nurture yourself. But transformation from beginning of the week to midweek. Okay, that makes sense. You are impatient. You want things now. And you're feeling like. Since things haven't been working out for you, you're like, am I on the right track? What's really going on? So, yeah, this is about self-love for this week. Oh, little babies. Alrighty, but in the week for you guys, you're understanding that you need to be patient and you're understanding that you need to really rest. Rest your mind, rest your body. Your body, well, your soul, honestly, um, it feels very tired. Every time I read for you guys, it's just like drained and just tired. So you guys really need to rest towards um the end of the week. Transformation from midweek to the end of the week. You're going after the things that you want. You are picking up this bold nature and you're understanding that you have to be a leader of yourself. So it makes sense. Beginning of the week, you guys want to um, give off this nurturing vibe and you want to feel like... You have a purpose of being complete, but you're so impatient that you're feeling like, am I really doing the right thing? Like, really, what's going on with me? But you're going to have to understand, like I said, with each test, there's different challenges, there's different questions. No matter what, never lose sight on the beauty and the blessings that you really are getting. Your blessings are like they're in disguise. Even all the bad stuff, those are blessings. Like I said, those are tests. You have to pass it. You're going after what you want. You're having this bold energy, but you're understanding that you're going to have to really restore yourself. Like you're going to have to restore yourself to fight another battle. So yeah, your overall mindset for this week, don't go back to this greediness. Please don't. I've been worried about this for you guys. Going back to this whole greedy nature. So this makes sense. You guys are like, oh my God, I'm not really getting the proper results from my new mindset. So let me go back to my old self and maybe it will be better since I'm so familiar with that. No, no, no. Please don't go back to your past. Don't be greedy. Make room for changes, please. Like if you guys want this, you're going to have to... Be hopeful. Be hopeful. Never lose sight on your hopefulness, all right? Because I really don't want you guys to go back to this greedy mindset and this, like, thinking so much of the past. So, yeah. Um, it really seems like all my air signs are going through a self-growth, self-love type of week for this week. So, that's very, very interesting. Very interesting. So, try to have a good week this week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, air signs.